it's me Miranda Lynn and today I'm gonna show you how to make a lush bubble bar it's so beautiful and it looks exactly like it this is a huge group collab with six amazing girls here on YouTube and all of their videos will be in my description box so make sure you guys check it out I am collabing with Chloe Hannah Helga Raina Jaden and Leanna I'm gonna show you how to make it, so let's just get on with the video. So the things you'll need are cornstarch parchment paper, a knife, spoons, bowls, cream of tartar, and food coloring, and also soap. So I am taking this soap and putting that into the bowl with two spoonfuls of cornstarch and half a spoonful of cream of tartar. And once you added that to the bowl, now just stir it around until it feels like a dough consistency. If it is too wet, add more cornstarch, and if it's too dry, add some more soap. Once it is a dough consistency, add it to your hands and play with it for a while. So the only thing I'm doing differently is I'm making another batch and I am using white soap instead of the blue soap I used because I want it to be a white color just like the Lush Bubble Bar. So I am doing the exact same process and if it's too dry, add more soap and if it's too wet, add more cornstarch. So I am taking the blue tinted dough and I'm going to make that purple just like the comforter Lush bubble bar. I found this box of food coloring and it was the neon series one and I am using the color purple and the color pink. And I am using gloves once again but these are the clean ones and I am flattening out the purple dough I made and making that into like a oval shape and then after that I am adding the white dough on top of it so that it looks exactly like the Lush bubble bar. And once you have the white dough on top, you are going to put the parchment paper on the bottom and this is when you roll it. So you're basically taking the parchment paper and you're rolling it. And after you have it in this log shape, you are just going to take a knife and make sure it's not serrated so that when you have a serrated knife it makes lines on the bubble bar and you don't want that. When I cut it, it was kind of flat on the bottom so now I am just forming it into the shape of a circle just like the bubble bar. Make sure you let it sit for 24 hours or 48 hours like I did on parchment paper. Okay, so I am back with my comforter bubble bar that I made, and I am going to show you how to use it. So this is what it looks like. I let um, it dry for 48 hours. I'm going to show you how to use it, so let's just go. So you are going to take your bubble bar and put it under hot water and crumble it up until you are done using it. And it really gives it a really nice color pink to it, and it adds so many nice bubbles but the camera doesn't do it justice. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below for any suggestions. If you have another Lush-inspired creation you guys want me to put on my channel, comment that down below. And also, subscribe to my channel. We're almost to 400 subscribers. There's gonna be a giveaway very soon. Okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.